right, welcome back everybody to another edition of Dollar Bin Digging. This is the video series and article that I do for comicbookinvest.com every Friday where I just talk about those books that you should just be keeping an eye out for when you're digging in those dollar boxes, those cheap boxes, those you know, bargain bins at your LCS, flea markets, wherever you buy your cheap books. This is the kind of stuff that you can kind of find sometimes while you're digging and uh, just, you know, keep an eye out for. Now, hopefully you're liking the content that I'm providing here. If you are, please like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you don't miss anything. I'm trying out some new shows as these weeks go on, plus doing the live shows on Wednesday with Marco, as well as Sunday with the rest of the Star Wars crew. So make sure you're tuning in here on Renovision for those live shows, as well as the recorded stuff that I try to drop at least once a day. Uh, now, that being said, while I usually do themes or like a running theme throughout my picks, the last few... Uh, yeah, a few months now with the uh, dollar bin digging. This week is just more of a little bit of a hodgepodge of ideas that were kind of kicking around in my head, all still Marvel related uh, in a sense of things that, you know, maybe it's things we might see. And it's just, like I said, just ideas that I've been kicking around. So if you're curious of what I'm think thinking and talking about, just hang on for a minute right after the intro and I'll be right back with the uh, books. Okay, so as I mentioned the open, there's no real one through line theme like, oh, it's all Riri Williams or all Kamala Khan books or anything like that. This is just more of a, a few random ideas that are kind of kicking around in my head from, you know, rumors and things that I'm hearing, uh, you know, online, just making ideas come to fruition, you know, in my head. Now, I've been a fan of the uh, the Ultimates, that Al Ewing run uh, for a while now. It's just a great read. I suggest if you don't have it, you go pick it up and... Well, you're not going to probably find this series any longer in the dollar bins. Well, at least not the first issue. Maybe you'll find some of the uh, later issues in the run, which are also worth picking up. Because, again, you want to read the whole story. I'm talking about the technical first appearance of, uh, of this team. And that book can be found, or that first appearance can be found in Avengers Zero in 2015. It's not a great first. I'll be the first to admit it. It, it is what it is. I mean, technically, it was released first, but it was kind of a preview. I mean, realistically, what they had in this book was just like preview pages of what actually ends up being in that first issue. So it's like, all right, you get the first few pages presented here in Avengers Zero, but that issue zero, again, is just more of an advertisement than anything else. But it still showed up here first. So you get introduced to the team, basically, in the panels that they kind of... Uh, share within this book as long along with i think they also did uh avengers ai i think was teased in this book a force and the new avengers and uncanny avengers all those series those new avengers titles of 2015 were all teased in this uh were previewed i guess you would say not teased in this avengers number zero so it's an interesting book to keep an eye out for and one i think that a lot of people just kind of bypass because it's you know it doesn't have a cool title and it's uh just avengers and it's number zero and a lot of times that's uh not something a lot of people pay attention to but Again, this introduces you to the Ultimates team with, like I said, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Ms. America here, America Chavez, as well as, you know, moving on through through the story to show you Blue Marvel and, you know, Monica Rambeau, who's going by Spectrum here, which is still what I think she's going to end up going by in the MCU if she takes a call sign, because I think Photon was her mom, so I don't think she's going to take that, nor do I think she's going to call herself Captain Marvel, so I think Spectrum is probably a good, a good play for what she might actually call herself, but not that that all really matters. But that being said, this book, like I said, it's just a preview of those first panels in that uh, that Ultimates issue. And uh, you can see here, they're just teasing all the titles that were about coming out. So this really is just like an advertisement book. So if you really want to read it, I mean, get the trade, check it out online, wherever you want to read it. But read that first Ultimates run. It was a, a good read uh, and definitely recommend you picking it up. But if you want the first appearance, it is technically in this Avengers Zero. So keep an eye out for this one as well. Now, that being said, what does this book go for? If you are looking for this book, this thing has been selling for eight bucks. Not a lot. Yeah, eight bucks you can find. Uh, last sale that I, I picked up there on September 3rd. I'm sure more have sold since then, but when I ran my uh, ran my uh, my look, that's what I came up with. And if you're looking right now, what, do you, what can you expect to spend if you're going to buy online? Nine bucks to 15 bucks are like the asking prices. So it's not... A dollar book online so if you did find one in a dollar bin you might be able to make yourself a couple of bucks and, and who knows if something actually ends up happening with the ultimates 
despite it just being a preview, a lot of people do like that type of thing because it is technically you know, first and that's what they want to chase after. And that's what people will kind of flock to if that time ever comes. So just be aware, cover your bases. And if you find this for cheap, just grab one, tuck it away and uh, just be prepared. That being said, what are we going to move on to next? I have yet to see Shang-Chi, uh, the movie I plan to see it this weekend with the family. And uh, hopefully, you know, I have high expectations, but I think they're going to be fulfilled. Uh, I'm, don't have unrealistic expectations. Some things have been kind of been spoiled just through happenstance and conversations. I haven't been hiding away from the news, but uh, you know, things still just kind of seep in because I've been seeking it out and I'm not looking to spoil anything here because again, I haven't seen it. So I don't know, but I do, I did hear a few things where people are saying that one of these uh, like end scenes or near the end, they were kind of teasing the idea that possibly like, again, it's nothing clear or like definitive, but possibly something like Fin Fang Foom may be coming which is a character a lot of people expect to even show up in the movie already. So maybe is this another reach like Mephisto, or is this something that Marvel might actually lead to? I kind of hope they bring in Fin Fang Foom. I'm not opposed to them bringing in this entire Monsters Unleashed kind of thing. Bring us Kaiju. I I'm into it. It can be kind of fun, you know, for you know, a one-off story. It doesn't have to be like that the whole time. But that being said, Monsters Unleashed. This is a series that kind of gets overlooked. And I think it's just kind of a fun read. Uh, there's a lot of really good variants that run through this. Uh, well, I mean, not a lot, but there's a couple of good variants that run through this uh, series that you should be aware of. And this is the first run. I think it's only a five-issue series. And then there's a volume two that kind of picked up that ran for maybe like 10 or 12. Something like that. But this Monsters Unleashed book, you know, it's again, fun little read. You got all these monsters, the kaiju. You get more of the story of Kid Kaiju. It's definitely a fun little read. And this is a book that's not really that expensive. So it's just something I would just pick up because you're not going to get a first Fin Fang Foom like out there. Like this is not something you're going to find for cheap. So I can't tell you to go looking for that. And I've already mentioned a couple of the uh, Iron Man books in previous uh, Dollar Bin Digging art, um, videos and articles. So I don't want to recap too much with that kind of stuff. So just kind of keep an eye out for it. I mean, pretty cool gatefold cover here. Well, not gatefold, wraparound cover. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely worth a buck or two if you find it in a cheap box. So. Like I said, just keep an eye out for it. I don't know. I'd recommend scooping it up just for the Fin Fang Foom there alone. I think this is worth it. But this thing, it isn't expensive. E even if you're looking online, you can see here one sold for about eh, close to 10 bucks. I mean, that's probably on the high end for this. But uh, if you're looking or shopping for one right now, I mean, you can see you can grab a copy for undercover. Is it $4.17? Because I think this is a $4.99 book cover wise. Maybe it's $3.99, but still four bucks and ain't an awful awful cost if you want to go shopping online but again this is stuff i'm telling you to keep an eye out for in those dollar bin 50 cent bins those cheap bins those overstock stuff that a lot there, this thing was printed pretty heavily uh, i don't want to say heavy heavy printed but there's plenty of copies to be had out there and, and there are copies just tucked away in those boxes of overstock so these usually end up in those cheap bins eventually so just be aware and keep an eye out for it because who knows right who knows and on that note Kid Kaiju, uh, I'm just going to kind of mention this here because even though I brought this up, it's probably like almost three years ago now when I did it the last time, but his first appearance is in uh, Totally Awesome Hulk number three, I believe it is. And uh, yeah, that's one you can still find for pretty cheap and one I would still go and look for if you're digging in those Totally Awesome Hulk boxes. I know a lot of people are grabbing that 15 for the uh, the Defender, or not the Defenders, um, uh, the, the new team, the I can't think of the protectors. I think they went by. I can't remember what the what they went by, but uh, I think it's a uh, totally awesome Hulk number fifteen. And then issue one, obviously, people were scooping that up too, thinking uh, maybe Amadeus Cho is coming, which he could be coming. But if you really want that, you're looking at AF fifteen, the second one, not the original Amazing Fantasy. But we're getting too far afield with that. We're here bringing back up again after a couple of years, Kid Kaiju's first appearance. And again, that's in Totally Awesome Hulk number three. You get this little story with Lady Hellbender. Yeah, it's not too bad. And again, Fin Fang Foom. Can't go wrong with a nice little Fin Fang Foom, right? Now, this book, again, doesn't sell for a ton, but yeah, if you find it in a dollar bin, you can flip it for 10 bucks or so. Not awful. I mean, you can do it if you really want to. Hold out for more or see if this bounces back. Because I think it went for a little bit higher at one point, but now... It's back down that that ten dollars uh, price, and if you look at what's available, you can see it's right in that twelve fifty fifteen dollar range. Yeah, not a ton, so just something to keep an eye out for. Still, if you can kind of run across one in one of those cheap boxes, it's still a wor book worth uh, scooping up, I guess you would say. And then I got one more, one more book for you this week, and uh, I've been talking about 
Emperor God Doom. And uh, if we ever do get this Secret Wars series, I hope we do. I uh, definitely hope we do. I know it kind of took a hit when uh, the Russos are kind of saying they're not coming back to Disney slash Marvel for how they treated Scarlet. But, you know, fingers crossed we'll see. Maybe everybody can work things out. And we can all be friends again. But Emperor God Doom is a character that... I don't know. It's just kind of fascinated me and I'm looking forward to potentially seeing him on screen. And I realize it's still Dr. Doom. So ultimately none of these are really a first appearance of the emperor God doom. Cause it's still Dr. Doom. It's like a mortal Hulk. It's like you're not really getting a first appearance of mortal Hulk. Cause he's still basically Hulk. He, but that being said, I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of issues you can look at. You can look at Secret Wars 2 because you get him with a nice white outfit here, the that look which will look awesome on screen. Again, still hoping for that. And there's a tease of him at the end of Secret Wars 1, but if you go all the way back into before Secret Wars started with a kickoff really, you know, as time is running out in New Avengers uh number 33, you technically kind of get a first look at him there. I mean, this story and this run of New Avengers is building up to Secret Wars beginning. So you're kind of getting him here, in a sense. I mean, here, I'll show you a couple of panels. You can see what I'm talking about. He's he's going through with Molecule Man. He, he's kind of utilizing his powers, and uh, as the world and the universe is ending, he's kind of bringing all things together under his uh, umbrella here. Again, working with Molecule Man and uh, kind of bouncing around through different areas and, and uh, multiverses, I guess you would say. Working with Doctor Doom, not Doctor Doom, Doctor Strange. And you can see here... Power is going running. The universe is about to, you know, flip out of existence, and we get our, you know, secret wars and battle world uh, universe. So we're kind of getting at least the kind of tease, the start of him here. So I don't know, just something to definitely keep an eye out for if you are really into, you know, Emperor God Doom. Because again, you see here at the end of issue one that I kind of mentioned, Secret Wars number one. This is what you get for Doom at the end, kind of teasing that white, the white uniform, white outfit is kind of coming as things are kind of flipping into this new existence. And then in uh, issue two of that Secret Wars run, you can see the Thors kind of worshiping their god. And uh, you can see him later in the issue just you know, kind of chilling on his throne there with the uh, with the family. Well, his uh, stolen family, I guess you would say. But that being said, definitely a cool and iconic look for the character and a character that's had an iconic look forever. I still think the white is going to kind of pop a little bit better than the green if we see it on, you know, on the big screen. That, uh, I don't know, something I hope we see. But if you just want to keep an eye out for this new Avengers 33, that I think you should, because you could kind of come across. I mean, plus it's got that gorgeous cover right there, too. I mean, take a look at that thing. And uh, this thing, you can see it sells five bucks. It's definitely not uh, in high, high demand right now. So, I don't know, just take a flyer on it if you find it, again, in the cheap boxes. I'm not saying go out and spend five bucks even online and pay for the shipping. I mean, you make your own decisions what you want to do. I'm just saying, if you're flipping through the cheap boxes and you come across a run of new Avengers... This is the kind of book to keep an eye out for. But if you are impatient or you don't feel like digging or you don't have boxes to dig near you, there are options where you can see, look, you can buy one for three bucks online or there's one at 10 bucks you know, at auction. So prices kind of vary. I mean, some people are asking a bit because of, uh, you know, the storyline and Secret Wars and Emperor God Doom, while others just don't care. And it's just listed out there for, for cheap because, you know, there's copies to be had. But make your own decisions, make your own call. I'm just telling you, these are books that you should be keeping an eye out for. That's all. And that being said, that's all I got for you this week. So hopefully you enjoyed that, and hopefully you're enjoying this series. Uh, I appreciate you guys stopping by, checking in on the, the books that I got to talk about this week. Uh, got more stuff coming, you know, over the weekend, and again, you know, next week, some new series coming back and continuing, and a lot of fun stuff still on the way. So hopefully you're enjoying it and enjoying the channel. But again, appreciate you all. Thanks for stopping in, and I will see you guys soon.